fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie Ability for their actions Right We just Our children is disobedient Right I mean, we're the only nation That's just out of order Esau children Sometimes be in order Our children just All out of the place, man Talking back to the teachers So this is how we know We are cursed people, man this is how we know we need some type of guidance. We need a God. Jake talking about, I don't believe in God, man. Right. All right. Eve talking about, yeah, I'm not into all that. I'm just spiritual. Right. Well, hey, you need to believe in a God, man. All right. You need a God. Right. Right. Y'all could drop those precepts. Give me um, Syrac 20 and 32. No. All right. You need a God in life. What's the God? These laws, statutes, and commandments. All right. For you black, Hispanic, and Native American, you're the only person on, on a planet that's just lost out here. Right. And you don't give a damn about being lost because you want to fulfill the lust of the flesh and walk in vanity all the days of your youth. Then when it's time for you to get older, you realize, oh, it's not. I don't have that much time left. By that time, it's already too late. Right. The most has forsaken you. So bring and your children right. and your children's children. Right. If you're wicked, bring this out. Sirach chapter 20 and verse 32. Yeah. Necessary patience and seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his wife without a God. Is what? It's better than he that leadeth his wife without a God. Uh, read that right. It's like necessary patience. It's like necessary patience and seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a God. Right. So you don't want to be a person that's, you know, you're living your life without a God. You don't have guidance. There's a lot of people out there, they don't have guidance, man. Right. They looking up to these artists, these rappers, right. these celebrities. Right. And you're supposed to be looking up to God, man. All right. You're supposed to be looking up to Christ. Right. Oh, man, how did Christ move? All right. Oh, man, what would, what would Christ do in this situation? How many people actually say before they do something, hey, what would Christ do in this situation? Even though, know, you just go off out on the mouth. All right, you cut off, you cut her off on the road, she going off at you, sticking out the middle finger. Right. And we got to start asking, hey, what would Christ do, man? Right. What would Abraham do? These are the people that we need to be looking up to. You look up to these people in the world, and you're going to be deceived. Right. If you, hey, God forbid we look up to a celebrity, man. We want to do what he do. And we don't give a damn about them, man. Right. Those people, if they don't repent and come back to the Lord, repent from their idolatrous ways, that's all it is. The industry is nothing but idolatry, man. And people, they just so fooled by it, they think it's regular. But when we talk about our forefathers, hey, people, they think we strange. Right. Like, who, who is Joseph? All right, who is Mordecai? All right, here you go with this Bible stuff. And the Lord said, follow, ask for the old paths. Give me that in Jeremiah 6 and 16. All right, S search out your forefathers. This is the guy right here. Stop trying to follow other people and the things that they do, man. Right. And actually follow your forefathers. Right. Bring this out. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6 and verse number 16. Yo. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and seek and ask for the old paths. And what? And ask for the old paths. Hey, sister, you believe in God? I guess not. All right. The Lord said, ask for the old paths. Where did God say don't judge at? Where is that in the Bible? Where? I would give you a thousand dollars if you could show me that God said don't judge. Right. Cash. And hey, we'll pack up here and leave. Right. Like we always say. Right. Where is that at? Don't judge. Hold with that, can Give me give me uh John 7 and 24. Right? Give me Proverbs chapter 30. Give me verse 9. Book of John, chapter 7 and 24. Read Judge not according to the appearance. It says what? Judge not according to the appearance. Right? Now, we can't judge nobody according to the appearance. All right? Like uh, our women do. What do we say? Oh, yeah, he got dreadlocks. Oh, yeah. It's, nah. He, look what he wearing. Jordan. Yeah, they got that 20v1 spirit, man. All right. Nah, he, I can't really deal with you. All right? Oh, yeah. What's your zodiac sign? Oh, no, 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 I'm cool on that. Right, that's judging according to the appearance. Right. That's me looking down on a brother, and I'm just saying, oh, yeah, that brother poor. 
just because of his outer appearance with his clothing. The whole time, he might be a wealthy man. So the Lord says, judge not according to the appearance, but what? But judge righteous judgment. But what? But judge righteous judgment. What can we do? But judge righteous judgment. And the Lord said we can judge, but it has to be done righteously. Right. What is righteously? According to the commandments. Hey, brother. Me telling this brother, hey, brother, you got a minute for the word? Get out, brother. If he doesn't, he has to get out and separate from the so-called white woman. Right. That's a righteous judgment. Uh, and he's laughing. And the Lord said that in Tobit. The most I told our women to act like women and not to be like men. That's a righteous judgment. If I'm seeing somebody that's in sin eating pork, right. shrimp, crab, allowed to get in tattoos, right. any type of iniquity, I will have to judge them according to the law. Right. And I would want them to judge me according to the law if I'm going out. Right. All right. I don't want just a brother to just let me go off. Quick. Let me just buy on the Sabbath day and not say anything. Well, hey, that's on him. You know, Lord, most I get up with him in due season. Right? And you have certain brothers, they do that, man. They pray on their downfall. Oh, yeah, so and so just bought on this. Hey, I knew he was wicked. This time is numbered. Right? That's evil. Right. So the Lord said, judge according, judge a righteous judgment. All right? But judge not according to the appearance. You can bring this up. Okay. The book of Proverbs to the 30th verse number nine. Get out. And it reads, Lest I be full. Uh it's out of verse six. Verse number six. Add thou not unto Proverbs me. 31 and 6. So I oh, sorry. 31 verse 6. No. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty. Right, jump down to verse 9. Verse number 9. Open thy mouth, judge righteously. Do what? Judge righteously. No wicked judgment. Judge righteously. Right. And plead the cause of the poor and needy. Right. So the Lord said, judge righteously, man. Give me first Corinthians 2 and 15. So you can judge. It has to be a righteous judgment. Right. But you know what? The people, they don't want to be judged, man. They want people to just uh, not say anything to them. Let them do as they will. They don't want correction, man. That's why they stray away from the laws of God. Hey, the laws of God are going to correct you, man. You're doing something out of order. Hey, the laws is going to get you back in order, man. Right. right. But guess what? Our people hate reproof. We hate correct. You can't even, on a physical, at the so-called workplace, you tell Jake, hey, hey you got to kind of cut the box this way. Watch out, man. You're trying to tell me what to do. You think, why do you take that vest off? Right? Like, brother, I'm just telling you how to do the job. Right. All right. So our people had this, uh, were this correction, this not taking correction spirit on them. Right. Eve don't like you tell Eve, but well, sister, you know, you you being this, that, and the third. They say no, I'm not. You tell the sister you in the wrong. Eve, they no, I'm not. All right. What's what's going on, King? Believe in the Bible? Yeah. You step off the sign. Yeah, you good. I believe that uh, I believe the Bible is written. I believe that, I believe the story is the truth. They just tell it. That's what I believe. Oh, according to what? Yeah, I've been talking to a lot of people about this. Yeah. Most of my knowledge that the white man basically wrote the Bible to confuse us to keep us more of the truth about who we are. Right. So, what's the truth, and who and who are we? Uh, right. Right. We the Israelites, brother. Now I'm gonna ask you for this information that you're getting of a white man rewriting the Bible. How's the the Bible is not rewritten? It's just translated from one language to another. Do you know originally what language the Bible was written in? I mean, it was written in Hebrew. Then over time. You know, you got the Greek Septuagint, you know, the Latin Vulgate, et cetera. You got people that speak Spanish, uh, people that speak uh, Aramaic. So the Bible has different language and different translations. That don't mean it's rewritten. Because in the same book, brother, this Bible tells you who you are. Have you read the Bible? I read the story, but I only read the whole book. Why you stop reading it? 
Well, brother, you, hey, give me Revelation 1 and 3. All right, give me Isaiah 34 and 16. You got to start reading this Bible, brother, because if you would have kept reading, you would have found out with the right understanding, you would have found out who you are and who you come from. Right. We're going to show you that after we bring this out. We got you. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. Yeah. Blessed is he that readeth. It says what? Blessed is he that readeth. Read one. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are read the read. But the time is at hand. So you're blessed when you read. Not just with the Bible. When you read other, whether that's history, artificial books, art, I mean, artifact books, um, scholarly books, the Lord said you're blessed. You're also blessed when you keep the things that's written in this prophecy. For the time is at hand. We're living in the end of the world. Isaiah 34 and 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse number 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Read that again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. No strange books. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Right. And read. And what? And read. Not read. And read. Stop reading. And read. Read. No one of these shall fail. None of these things is going to fail you, brother. So reading is important. You read this Bible. Hey, you know what happened when Nat, you know who Nat Turner is? You know what happened when Nat Turner read the Bible? He led one of the second biggest slave rebellions of all time, brother. Against his slave master. When he fully read the Bible. And not just bits and pieces, but they wanted him to read. So your question was, what is Jesus' real name? We're going to show you. Give me Matthew 1 and 21. Turn this sign around, King. Water. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. Yeah. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh And that's your what? And thou shalt call his name Yahweh What is the King of Kings' name? And thou shalt call his name Yahweh So Jesus Christ's real name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Right. Right. Right up here, brother, you have the Hebrew. This is the name of Jesus Christ. His right. real name is Yahweh His real name is not Jesus. Right. The letter J is only about 450 years old. So that would be his real name, according to the Hebrew, which he spoke. What made you ask that question? Yeah, I was shy. Not Yeshua or none of those things, but yeah, I was shy. Basically, they just said, um, that's why I said the Bible, I only believe the Bible, because I believe it was rewritten. I do believe it, it was like an original Bible, like the Ethiopian Bible, the Samaritan Bible. No, it's not, that's not the original. This Bible, this book that you're looking at right now, it's just a different translation, that's all it is. It's the, the Ethiopian Bible, that's a book predicated that the Ethiopians, um, Compromise. So the word, you know what the word Bible means? You know what the word Bible means? It's a collection of books. These different books of the Bible are real events, real men that walk the earth. So you might say you don't believe in the Bible, but how do you believe in something you haven't even read? That's, right, that's, right. that's like me seeing a newspaper. I'm seeing all of these events. Donald Trump just got shot at, right? Joe Biden is not an out. Camelia here as she's running for president. And I didn't, and I say, man, I don't even believe that stuff. Just because I don't believe in it, did that not make it true? The evidence is here, brother. Give me Hebrews 11 and 1. Do we have an extra Bible order? No, we don't. Nevertheless, you could get a Bible, start reading it, and doing your research for yourself. And you, yeah, you got the Bible app because what you was we hearing, you going off what people tell you, right? Just like you say, people say Jesus is white. Do you know what the Bible says he looks like? Right. Skin color, same color, something like that. Exactly. He was black. He was a black man. Right. That right there. That's the main reason why I question the Bible. Why would you question the Bible though? 
Right. They said he's white. Obviously. So who's lying? Right. If, if, give me. Give me Acts 5 and 29. You go with that Hebrews. Give me Acts 5 and 29. Read up. It's the book. Give me Psalms 116 and 11. It's the book of Acts chapter 5 and verse number 29. Like, and it reads. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God. We what? We, we ought, ought to, to obey God. God. No, listen to man. We, we ought, ought to obey God. We don't want? Rather than men. Rather than what? Rather, Rather than, than men. men. The history teacher. Rather, Rather than, than men. men. Science teacher. Rather, Rather than, than men. men. So, brother, we got to obey God rather than man. Man is going to tell you everything. Right. Man is going to tell you, hey, two years from now, you're going to be a millionaire. Right. And guess what? Two years from now, you're still not a millionaire. Right. So we got to stop believing what man is saying. Man, didn't man say we're going to be, we came from monkeys? Right. Didn't man say the sun is three point so-and-so billion, billion miles away? Didn't man say it's an outer space? You got Neptune. Right. And why have I why have I not never seen Pluto? Right. Right? Where can I see Pluto at? And Jupiter and all and Saturn and all of his rings. Right. And they say it's a big hurricane on Jupiter. That's where you get the red eye. It's a big storm right now that's happening on there. How do you even know that? Right. So why are we listening to men? We need to believe and start listening to God. Right. Because everything that God has said has came to pass and it will come to pass. Right. Yeah. Now nah, we don't smoke weed, brother. We don't smoke weed. No, nah, we don't. Right. Y'all need to stop smoking weed. Right. Right. And stop selling weed to your people. Right. Bring that out. You you said what? You sure? They hurting them brain cells, brother. Right. We, we you know people getting killed over weed, right? You know women being prostitutes over weed, right? right. But it's not hurting nobody. Bring that out. Stupid Negroes, man. <laughs> See that? It is. It's hurting your community. Right. How much longer y'all gonna be out here? We're gonna be out here all night, brother. All right, Lord willing. So, you got a fire? Are you coming back, right? All right, you'll get a fire when you come back. All right. Jake say we not hurting nobody. Hey, sister, you believe in the scriptures? Do you believe we hurts people? Hey, Esau, Esau trying to take you. You said what? Esau trying to take you. Hey, Esau. <laughs> Esau, come here. Yeah. What did you say to him? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was just wondering why he was there. I feel shitty having this fucking hat. Wow. Oh, okay. You believe what you what you are, a Christian? I I think so. You don't know? What are you? I, I don't. I, I've been going to church for a year now. Oh, okay. You believe in God? Yeah. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't know. I, that, I think that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, I feel it more than I know it. You know what I mean? Right. So you go to St. Mary's College? No, no, actually, no. I drifted this. No, I go to uh, Nepal. Okay, what church you go to? Uh, uh, Christ the Redeemer. It's Orthodox. Okay, Orthodox Christian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you don't need to be believing in the Bible. You know who the Bible is? The Bible is a book, right? Yeah, yeah. Just like any book or any letter... You know, it has somebody that is, somebody obviously wrote it. Yeah, right, yes, it's just all inspired, but. Well, no, even a novel. A novel has an author, he might write this book specifically for kids. You know, adults really don't, I mean, they could try to read it, but it's not for them, it's for children. Yeah. Or an author, right, like Stephen King, might write a horror novel that's not for kids. Yeah. Because yeah. kids might not understand it. No. It's the same thing with the Bible. The Bible has authors and is written to a certain group of people. Right. It's written to somebody. It's written by somebody. Right. For somebody. That's interesting. It feels like it's meant. I obviously it's probably not for me, but it feels like it's meant to be universal. Well, give me who says who. I I wish I had a quote. It, I'm not trying to fucking like. Give me Psalms 149. No, one forty seven. And 19. 
Give me some. So we finna show you something up here. Yeah. Because this Bible is not for everybody. This Bible is. Do you know who even wrote the Bible? Uh, different authors. Different authors. All right, you don't. Different authors. Who were they? Uh, I know that Genesis had five authors. They don't say no. I know the epistles were authored by Paul. I don't know who Acts was by. And then I'm gonna just trust the names of the gospel authors. Who? Read this. Who wrote yeah. it? It's the book of Psalms. The Israelites wrote it. Psalms, Psalms 147 and 19. I mean, you have different Psalms. You have Psalms of Moab. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain. You have Psalm, you got a Psalm of Moses, Psalms of the children of Levi, the sons of Coab, and you got a mixture of the Psalms of David. So, you know, Psalms is a mixture, but it's mostly David. But read this. Psalms 147 and 19. Yep. He shows his word unto Jacob. He what? He shows his, his word unto Jacob. Jacob. Right, this is the word of God. He shows this unto Jacob. Unto Israel. Yeah. Read one. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. Unto everybody. Unto Israel. Read that again. Unto Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. He have what? He have not, not dealt so with any nation. Read one. And as for his judgments, they have not known them, praise ye, your house. So this Bible is only for the Israelites. He has not dealt with any other nation. What's left? I mean, I guess if you look in the Old Testament, the people who don't accept the God of Israel, all that's left for them is woe, misery, suffering. That's what happened to Babylon. Although, I can't quote the specific thing. The book of Job, he brings... All right, brother. He brings the word of God to the, the people of Nineveh, Assyrians, terrible people. That wasn't Job. Oh, sorry. Uh, am I? Who was it? Who was it? I, I, I thought it was oh, Jonah. It was Jonah. Jonah, my bad. I'm sorry. You don't know? No, it was Jonah. Okay. Um, what about Jonah? He brings it to the Assyrians, the people of Nineveh, who prior did not accept the God of Israel. Who are those people that was living in Nineveh? Uh, Assyrians. A Assyrians? Yeah, it was the Assyrian Empire. Do you know what Nineveh was the capital of? The Assyrian Empire. No. Oh, fuck it. Okay. No, Nineveh was a city in there, but you had a certain group of people that was dwelling in Nineveh. Was it, was it the Edomites? Fucking. Was it? I, I swear to God, it's the Assyrians. Sorry. No, nah, no. The Edomites, how is going to be the Edomites going to be in Nineveh? When you have Esau there in Mount Seir, that's nowhere near Nineveh. Okay. So that Jonah, who he was preaching to those Nineveh, those Ninevites, was the Israelites. Oh, it was other Israelites. It was Israelites that was in Nineveh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Because you had uh, chiefly Northern Kingdom was scattered. Yeah. Then. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Into. And then. Yeah, so this, I mean, this this why you don't need to be believing in the Bible because you don't. What do I do? I mean, you can't you can't do anything. You have to get give me Revelation thirteen and nine. You have to get ready for slavery. All right. That's what you have to do because when Jesus Christ comes back, which is a black man according to the Bible, you and your people will be put into slavery for what you have for what your ancestors have done. And to God's chosen people. You see these things right here? Come look at this sign right here. This is what your people have done to the Lord, the apple of his eye. And God is a just God. He has a recompense for this. Bring this out. The book of Revelation. And give me Malachi 1 and 3. Revelation chapter 13 and 9. You know? If any man have a year, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. What the Lord say? He that leadeth into captivity. Read that again. He that leadeth into captivity. Read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall, shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. What does this people have to go? Shall, shall go, go into captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And this is in the New Testament. Yeah. Right? He that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity. You kill with the sword, you must be killed with the sword. With the sword right. and the saints, which are the Israelites, according to Psalms chapter 50 and 5, Psalms chapter 148 and 14, right. they must be patiently waiting right. for the vengeance of the Lord. Right. Yeah. 
Read this. This the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 3. Read it out. And I hated Esau. And I what? And, and I, I hated hate Esau. Hey, hate is in the Bible. God hates. Right. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah. No. See that? God hates Esau. Yeah. Believe it or not, you will be an Edomite. Yeah. According to the Bible. You heard that word before? Yeah. You will be an Edomite. The son of the, the grand the descendant of Esau. Read one. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste right. for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, Where we are impoverished. But we will return and build the dust of the places. And that's what your people did. Yeah. You know, your people build up these th this great empires and the nice cities. And I don't know if great's a good word. I mean, no, so-called great. Yeah. According to the world, is great. When you was growing up as a kid, you thought it was great to go to the amusement parks, Six Flags, Great America. These different cities, you got your people has built it up. Off the backs of the oppression of the slaves. Read one. Okay. Verse four. Whereas Edom said, "We are impoverished, but we will return and build the dust of the places." Right. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, "They shall build, but I will throw down." But I will what? But I, I will throw, throw down. down. What is Christ coming back to do? But I will throw down. So Christ is coming back to throw down all of these buildings. Right. All of this. The, the, the this kingdom is going to be taken over, and Christ's kingdom is going to reign. And right. He's gonna rule forever and ever. Right. Read one. Come. They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness. What is the Edomites? The, the border, border of, of wickedness. wickedness. Read that again. The, the border, border of, of wickedness. wickedness. So according to the Bible, your people are the border. You want to know what wickedness is? Yeah. The Edomites. They're right. just. If you want that definition, just look at the Edomites. They're right. the like wickedness. It. Right. Look at it. Literally. I guess my only question then is, why did God make me like this? You know, I didn't ask. To be born as the what was it the border of wickedness? The border of wickedness. Right. Give me Psalms one fifteen. Give me verse three. All right. Psalms one fifteen and verse number three. Bring it out. Psalms chapter one fifteen and verse number three. Bring it out. And it reads, "But our God is in the heavens." Right. He has done whatsoever he pleases. He have what? He has done, done whatsoever he pleases. Read that again. He has done, done whatsoever he pleases. Right, the Lord do whatever he want to do. Well, and let's say if you had a project, you created a robot. You create a robot to do specific things. You might create a robot to do your homework. Can that robot say to you, why did you create me to do your homework? Why didn't you create me like the other robot to rub your feet? Wait, Can that robot say that to you? Uh, uh, no, it's not in its programming. I mean, even if it was in its programming, how how disrespectful and prideful would the robot say to this person that created it? Why has you made me thus? Yeah. No, he can't say that. Yeah, no, it's, give me Romans nine and sixteen. Bring it out. And give me Proverbs sixteen and four. Bring it out. This the book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse number four. Because God created everything. God created good. God didn't just only create good. That's a misconception. Right. God created good and evil. The Lord created all things for right. himself. Read this. The Lord have made all things for himself. Read that again. The Lord have made all things for himself. Even the Edomites. What's your name? Uh, Thomas. God has made Thomas. Read on. Yeah. Even the wicked for the day of evil. It says what? Even, Even the, the wicked, wicked for the day of evil. What are the Edomites created for? Even, Even the, the wicked, wicked for the day of evil. evil. So God created the Edomites just for them to be set up, just for them to be destroyed when the Lord returns. That's why. Yeah. I, the, highest, the highest good is a good that conquers evil. I, hey, thou sayest. Right. Read this. Oh, yeah, sorry. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 16. Yeah. So then it is not a film that will it. Start at verse 15. Verse 15. But he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Right. So then it is not to him that a film that will it, nor to him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. Right. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, 
even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. So just like do you know the story of Egypt? Yeah, yeah. Why did God raise up Pharaoh? For the oh, uh, in order to bring about the flight of the Israelites in um, Exodus. Right yeah. now, can Pharaoh say God? Why did you set me up just to bring the ten plagues? Can Pharaoh say that? No. So why would you suppose the question of, well, why did God even create us? A uh, hubris. Uh, Self-importance. Well, guess what? Now you know. Yeah. Now you know why you were set up. Why was you set up, Thomas? Uh, what, what was it? To be knocked down? To be what? To be knocked down. See, that thou sayest. To be right. knocked down. Who's, who's knocked down? Uh... Edom, the children of Edom. Yeah, are you are you the children of Edom? I don't. I I think so. Oh, you think so? You fit all the descriptions of Esau. Right. Oh, like the actual. Yeah. See that? You need to go do some history on Esau. And your, that's your great 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 grandfather. Right. Right. Got a precept. All right, bring it up. This is the book of Job, oh, 27 and verse 13. Yeah. This is the portion of a wicked man with God. It says what? This is the portion of a wicked man with God. And let, again, if we just examine an Edomite race and examine all, who are the most, what is the most wicked race on the planet? Let's be honest. Are the Chinese people? Are the Chinese people the most wickedest people? No. What about that? What about the Arabs? No. What nation? What about black people? Looks to be Europe. Looks to be Western Europe. Yeah. Western Europe? What about the Eastern Europeans? I don't know. I mean, I, my family's from Eastern Europe, so that could be my response to that, but I, I can't think of them. You had it right the first time. Europeans. So-called Europeans. Okay. Really, the Edomites. Really, the Europeans, they go back to the uh, Romans. All right? Yeah. The Romans go back to the Edomites. Right. We gonna answer that. Read on in this. <laughs> this is the portion of a wicked man with God and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, if his what? If his children be multiplied, read on. It is for the sword. It is what? It is for the sword. It's coming to Esau. It is for the sword. Read on. And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. See that? The Most High is gonna root up the descendants for what your forefathers have done. George Washington hasn't paid for what he did. Right. Do you know the man that's on a one dollar bill had slaves? Yeah. Right. And raped women. Right. Black women. Right. Fucking everyone on the currency. Fucking. And guess what? Well, America doesn't care. Right. I mean, who was on the fucking Roman coins? It was Nero, a, a, a slaver. A fuck, it was fucking. It was Caesar. See that? You have some type of sense, Thomas. So you know that your people. All they have they have done wickedness, they don't even own up to the wickedness that they have done. Right. They're not ashamed. Right. Look how prideful he's he's walking prideful. Just right. to be here, just to walk down this on his land is prideful. Right. This land was originally given to the Native American Indians. Right. right. They took that, they got the Louisiana purchase. Right. They say, hey, y'all finna no. Y'all finna walk across the United States of America and get on these reservations. So just to even, just right now, you just stand in this private. Right. I think you need to take a seat. I, I gotta get going. You gotta, uh, I, I, thought you had, I thought you had more questions. Right. I, I, Is it getting it too just, hot, Thomas? It feels like there's nothing left for me. No, it, it's more judgment left for you. Right. You got to go back to this. You got to tell your mom this. Right. You got to tell this. You got brothers? No. Sisters? No. And you're the only child? Yes. Yeah. Right, you got to tell this to your cousins. Right. You got to tell this to your pops. Right. Your mom, granny. Right. That this, because this is going to happen. Once you want to warn them, or you just want to let them just get it's caught up happen. in it. Isn't it going to happen regardless? It's going to happen. Thus said, it's thus said the Lord. Uh, what am I supposed to do before that? I mean, it's, it's you got to spread this message to the Edomite race. That's right. what you have to do. Right. Nothing, no, I don't know. If my, if my soul is as corrupted as it is, I shouldn't be trusted with this message. This book you still have to me. spread the word. Right. If, I can't if, you're, if you're righteous, you still have to spread the word of God. It's still the word of God. Right. Not, I can't be righteous, it sounds like. It sounds... Well, that's what you're saying, Thomas. No, it, yeah. 
You know how you can be righteous? You got to spread this word that all, to all the rest of the Edomites. If you do that, hey, that's right. That's the word of the Most High. Yeah. Y'all got a couple minutes, brothers? For the word? All right, Thomas. He got up out of here quick. Yeah. He's finished, man. What was he holding? Okay, come on, bring that back out. Yeah, Thomas, he's finished, man. All right, he's done. Read this. Romans 9 and 16. Yo. So then it is not, it is not a film that willeth, nor a film that runneth, but of God that shows mercy. Right. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even so, this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power. And thee. That I might what? That I might show, show my, my power, power and thee. thee. What is the Most High gonna do? That I might show my power and thee. And if the Most High, which He is, when He destroys this place, it's gonna be so powerful, man. Right. Because no other so-called kingdom can take this place down. Right. At one point in time. All right. This kingdom was so high and mighty. Hey, brother, you were Israelite. You gotta repent and keep the commandments. Keep the Sabbath day. All right. This kingdom is just so high and mighty. And hey, when Yahweh Shah comes back, he gonna show you how true powerful he is. Right. Hey, certain brothers, they be having visions of Yahweh Shah. Right. They, uh, dreams of Yahweh Shah coming back. Right. And hey, this one brother, he said, yeah, man, I seen the Lord come back in my dream. Hey, his appearance was like lightning. Right. All right. He had skin of bronze. Right. And he was powerful, destroying everything in his way. Right. So that dream that he had, whole time in reality, when it actually happens, it's gonna be 10 times worse than that. All right. And the Lord said, I'm going to destroy and devour at once. I have a long time holding my peace, man. Hey, brothers know they long time holding their peace on something. Right. Then you just finally blow up. Right. Because you didn't got fed up. Right. That's how Yahweh Shah is going to be, man. Just to show his power that he could take down the so-called strongest kingdom of the United States of America. I mean, of this world. Read on. Read on. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom we have, like, and whom, and whom he will he harden it. Wilt thou say then unto me, why, did, why doth he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? It says what? For who has resisted his will? And that's what Thomas, he's trying to ask, well, hold on, why, why was I even created? What is his purpose? You can't question the most mm -hmm. side, man. And the Lord does what he want to do, man. Right. And you can't gang say that. Right. We didn't even have to break that down to him that he's going to be reserved for the day of wicked. Right. We could have just told him, hey, shut up, Thomas. The Most High does what he want to do. Right. Right? But we we giving him, hey, why the Most High is going to do this and what it's for. Right. Read on. Verse 20. <clears throat> but it says, nay, but, oh man, the art. Like, who are there that replies against God? It says what? Who are there that replies against God? Read that again. Who are there that replies against God? Hey, who are you talking to, man? You're just man. All right? You drink water. I mean, you drink iniquity like water. Right. You come from the dust. Who are you to reply against me? Are you believe, You got one minute for the Bible? One minute, brother. You're an Israelite. Tribe of Issachar. Right. Read on. Shall the thing formed say to that which formed it? Why has thou made me thus? Why has thou what? Why has thou made me thus? Right, can you say to the most high, why has thou made me thus? Lord, why did you make me five five? Right. Why did you make me six foot top tall? Right. Lord, why why did you make me with no beard? Right. Alright. Lord, why did you make me to be down big footed? Right. You can't say that to the most high. You think the priest can say, Lord, why did you make me to be a priest? No, the Lord has everything for happens for a reason, man. Everything is according to his will, not mortal men. You got certain Eve saying, God, why did you make me a girl? I just want to be a boy to freak off. Right. That's off, man. And the most I made you for a reason. The best thing you could do is fulfill the reason why he created you. Right. Because if not, you're going against the will of the Lord. And the most high, you're going against his will. 
like you bucking up, you being stubborn, and the most I could cut you down. So read on. Read on. Give me Isaiah it says, 24. Has not eight. the potter power over the clay? Have not the what? Have not the potter power over the clay? Read on. Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What is God? What is to show his wrath? And to make his power known and do with much long suffering the vessels of wrath? Fit it to destruction. What is Esau? Fit it to destruction. Read that again. Fit it to destruction. And then the vessels of wrath fit it to destruction, man. It's men in the Chicago Bulls. Uh, jersey. Fit it for destruction. All right. And the rest of his friends. All right. Fit it for absolute destruction. Right. And guess what? We can't, we can't ask and say, well, no, Lord. You got Jake. When they hear that verse, they getting angry. The Edomites, they trying to save Esau. All right, well, my mom sees the Edomite now. Hey, it is what it is. Right. You got to accept this. The brothers in the truth, they accept, hey, my mom is an Edomite now. Right. It is what it is. It's a judgment of the Mosai. Right. All right. Your granny might be an Edomite. Right. Right. Your cousin might be an Edomite now. Right. You, it, it is what it is. You cannot, and it's always Esau. They always want to save the so-called white man. They don't ask about Moab. Right. They not asking about him. Right. When is Jake saying, oh, what about the Japites though? Can right. they make it? They saying Esau. Right. Because they love their oppressor. Hey, sister, do you love your oppressor? No. Who's your oppressor? The white man. All praises. All praise to the Mosai. All right. I think she hanging with them though, but. Are you hanging with them? <laughs> All right. So, hey, she said it. The Lord willing, her, her actions speak louder than her words. Right. All right. There's more on that. No, that's, that's it on that. Bring this up. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 64, and verse number 8. Bring it out. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father. We are the clay. We are the what? We are the clay. What is man? We are the clay. Read the one. And thou art potter. And what? And thou art potter. Read the one. And we all are the work of thy hand. See that we all the work of the Most High, man. To the righteous is the work of the Most High. The wicked man, Eve, Jake, right. other nations. Right. Hey, the dogs is the work of the Most High, man. All right. The cat, the kit, the kittens, the cats. Right. The frogs. Right. A frog can't say, Lord, why did you make me a frog? They're not thinking of those foolish questions like men. Right. All right. Go on, you can bring it up. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and 13. You know? As the clay in the potter's hand, to fashion it at his pleasure. So at his what? As the clay in the potter's hand, to fashion it in his pleasure. In his what? In his pleasure. No, in our pleasure. In his pleasure. Hey, it's all in the most high pleasure, man. All right. It's what he do. The Lord does what he pleases. What pleases him? It pleased him to make man. It pleased him. It pleased, it pleased the most high to make every different man unique. Every different woman unique in their way. At, at the end of the day, it's all the pleasure of the most high. The Lord thought it, was, it pleased them. Hey, family, y'all got a couple minutes for the word. Y'all learn your nationality. Sis, for the Bible. All right. The Mosai does, and he, it pleased him to create the earth in six days. He could have did it in eight days. Right. Nine days, but it pleased him in six days. Right. Read on. It says, so is man in the hand of him that made him to render to him as like it can best. See that? The Mosai made different things and different men to render him that liketh them best. So at the end of the day, hey, it's all up to you. You got to accept the way the, the way who you are, man. You got Eve trying to dye their hair blind, envying the oppressor. Right. Oh, I want to be like the so-called white. You got a lot of Eves, they want to be like the so-called white woman, man. For real. Isn't that right? See that? She don't even know who Eve is. Right. They want to be like the so-called white woman. Jake want to be like the so-called white man. Right. 
Y'all know y'all nationality, brothers? What's y'all history? Before 1618. Right, where y'all going? Y'all in the rush? Where y'all going? Where y'all headed to? To the gym. All right. Did y'all have y'all ever heard that y'all Israelites? Israelites. You heard that term before? Israelite. Yeah. Well, if it if it do, that's the most size. Now the Israelites is God's chosen people. If y'all didn't know, you know we're not black. We're not African American. We're not Negroes. That was all a lie told to us in America. Y'all true nationality is in this Bible. Right, we gotta come back to who we truly is. We're not niggas. You better than that. You y'all kings on the earth. All right. We're not Africans, as they say. We are the Israelites, God's chosen people. Y'all living in the end of the world. Y'all believe that? You don't care? You don't know? You don't see what's going on right now? You don't see the evil that's happening on this earth and how bad it's increasing? It's getting bad. And uh, one day when y'all die, y'all have to appear before somebody. And that's the most I got. And y'all gonna get judged whether y'all was doing right or bad. Right. So that's why we sent out here to relay the message to y'all. We don't have a lot of time left. Right. It's time to start living for the most high. Stop living for ourselves. Do you wake up every morning and say, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do God's will? Do you be honest? I wake up. Was give me right my day. I understand that, but now it's time to change that. Right, but you got to do what the Most High is telling you to do. That's you're gonna buy the ball. You're gonna take my care of yourself. Be talking about this action. How you do? I know, I know what you're talking about. You got to look it's into it, bit, brother. My cousin. Yeah. Oh, you he got. Talking about he moving to Africa and all this. Who he you? Who your cousin? Right now, his name. Um, Name Little Day. Little Day. Okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of people doing what they do, but y'all have to tap in. We got a flyer for y'all. Hey, hey, Elder. Oh, we get some flyers. Oh, they got a flyer right here. Look into this information, man. Y'all, Israelites. I, I ain't even gonna take this because I'm not gonna look at it. I'm gonna be honest. You're not? I don't wanna just. Why you, all right, I'm just saying, why you not gonna look at it? Just why not? Like I'm talking it's, about, it's not, I look at it, I'm gonna put it down. So but it's what I understand that. But it's knowledge though. Right. So you increasing that knowledge, that's gonna benefit you in some type of way, shape or form. Right. And now unless you saying you hate knowledge, that's understandable. I we just take it back and give it to somebody that will use it. It's not that I hate knowledge, I just hate Why do you think you're not gonna use it though? I know Honestly. Not, not think, I know. I'm you know, saying I like why myself. though? I'm saying, I like, why? Like, I what's going to what's gonna cause you? I'm not even finna. Like, what's going to cause you to do that? All right, so I'm asking. I want to know. No, bro. All right, brother. I just don't want to disrespect you so. Now, nah, you ain't disrespecting me. Yeah. At the end of the day, again, you got to take that up with God. Yes, sir. All right, y'all Israelites. Repent. Keep the commandments. All right. All right. Give me First Thessalonians chapter four and eight. Yeah. All right, give me John chapter eight and forty-seven. <laughs> first Thessalonians chapter four and verse number eight. Check it out. He therefore that despiseth despiseth not man, but God, who has also read that from the top. He therefore that despiseth despiseth not man. Despiseth what? Despiseth not man. Read that again. Despiseth not man. Yeah, you're not despising us, man. You don't want to take the fire. You don't hurt my feelings. Trust me. Right. All right, that's something that would just not hurt my feelings at all. Right. Is you not taking a flyer? Right. Hey, certain people they get hurt off that. He didn't take our flyer, man. Let's pack up him. All right. No. Right. You don't right. take a flyer. Hey, that's on you, man. Right. All right. Yeah, you are gonna wish you picked it up. Right. And that day of the Lord, you are gonna wish, man. Hey, certain Jakes actually don't give a damn. All right, you got to keep that in mind. Certain Jake, they don't give a damn if they die. So, hey, you guys, just one Jake, hey, he said, I, hey, I want y'all to try to slay me. All right. So certain Jake, they don't care. They don't give a damn. So with that being said, we're not going to get upset. You're not despising us. Read one. Despise is not man. But God. But what? But God. But who? But God. We doing? Who has also given unto us his Holy Spirit. See that? The Lord gave us the Holy Spirit to speak to the people. 
Well, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people want God to talk to them. All right. A lot of people want God to speak to them one on one, have a one on one conversation. Right. Meet up at Dunkin' Donuts. All right. It don't work like that. The Lord speaks to people, animals, different living organisms, dreams, right. visions. Right. The Most High is gonna, not going to speak to you one on one. But man, you know, his understanding is bad. He thinks that's going to happen and it's just not. So right now, hey, that was probably the Lord through the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm not saying I got the Holy Spirit, but hey, you never know, man. Huh? Most I was probably speaking to him through the Spirit, letting him know, hey, you're an Israelite. I think it's, it's time for you to, to get right and repent. All right? Because what can happen right now, as soon as he go wherever he's going to go, the Lord can slay him. Right. And would the Lord be wicked? No. Or not even just today. Five years from now, the most I could slay him. All because he didn't want to look into this information and repent. So we're reading much more on that? No, that's it on that. You can bring this up. It's the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 47. Bring it out. He that is of God hear of God's words. Right. Ye therefore hear them not. Because ye are not of God. Ye are what? Because ye are not of God. And that's the majority of the people in this world. They not of God for real, man. Even the people that say they of God, they're not of God. Because when it, if, if you truly cared about something and someone, and you would do anything for them, man. Huh? All right? If you truly care for that person or some way, you're going to do anything. You're going to drop on a dime, be willing to lose, be willing to risk it all. That's how you know if somebody really care about you, man. Right. If these people, if they're not willing to drop everything for the, hey, we tell Jay all the time, drop everything right now, follow the most high. Hey, no, nah, man, I got to go. All right. All right, hey, give me Luke 14 and 26. I got to go, man. Right. And my kid, my daughter, she crying right now. She got to go pee. All right. Whole time, the daughter just sitting there listening to the word. Right. Jay get that. Jay get that. We talking to him. He get that. Hello? Right. Oh, yeah. Where y'all at? Yeah, I'm right. All right. About to be up real quick. All right. Whole time, the screen is like this. Right. And the brother not calling no damn body, man. Right. We seen it. That's the oldest trick in the book. You're not fooling us, man. Right. Read this. It's the book of Luke, chapter 14. And verse 26. Yeah. Hey, if you caring about hey, a lot of brothers in that shoe, they drop everything, man. Because they really cared about the most I got. Right. So if you're not ready to drop, I don't, I don't care who you are. If you're not willing to drop everything and risk it all for the most I, you're not of God. Pursuing a John 8 and 47. Right. Now bring this up. The book of Luke, chapter 14 and 26. Yeah. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children, and brother and sisters, yea, it's like and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. He can what? He cannot be my disciple. And the Lord said, if you don't hate all of those things and reject it and follow me, and you can't be my disciple, man. You're not worthy enough. So think that think about that next time hey, you make a decision that's not predicated on the Mosa. You're not worthy to be called a disciple. Read one. Reading on. For which of you intending to build a tower, set up not down first and count up the cost. Right. Whether they have sufficient to finish it. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. See that? You can't be the disciple of the Lord, man. You must do what the Most High says exactly when he said it. Right. And when the Lord told Abraham to get up and depart, Abraham didn't say, all right, give me a couple days and I got you. Right. He said, oh, snap, get up and depart. All right, bet. let me get right. this stuff right now. Let's pack this stuff. We're going to go. He was on the instant, man. Hey, the Lord told a lot of brothers certain stuff. Hey, they just start dragging. All right. Tearing. All right. Holding back. I'm, I'm going to do it on this day. All right. Prograstinating. That's a, when you do those things, you're quenching the spirit. You quench the spirit so much, hey, the most I can take his Holy Spirit from you, man. Right. 
That's why it's important. Hey, you of God, you're gonna you're gonna do the things that's of God. You're gonna do godly things. The wicked, hey, they gonna do the wicked shall do wickedly. Give me that in uh, Daniel twelve and ten. All right. 